Hi everyone, and welcome back to another video in the ECW Learning Series. Today we're going to go over something that's pretty handy, not directly necessary to your patient care, but something that can help you get better with all your patients. I'm talking about the test patient. The test patient is a concept that's built into ECW that lets you use a fake patient with all the different EMR formats and techniques without actually having any real world repercussions. So I'm starting from this screen. This is the main screen after you've logged in. And from here, you search for a test patient, just like you would any other patient. Now, how do you know which ones are test patients? Well, let's start by typing in test. All of these are test patients. We don't have any real world patients whose last name is test, but if there was that rare opportunity, rare chance where somebody is a real person with the last name test, look at these names. They're all just numbers and maybe a couple of letters here and there, but not in any meaningful way. What does look realistic is the date of birth, the sex, the account number, some of them even have social security numbers, and even a next appointment. So let's go ahead and choose anyone at random. And other than the clearly fake demographic information, everything else looks pretty convincing here in our hub. So various lab results, referrals, actions. If we go into progress notes. We do find something. See, we have a history of previous things that had been done. And then we go into our info. Looks pretty similar. Realistic looking insurance information, pharmacies, and every feature works. So that's a really nice thing about the test patient is that it's fully enabled. It just doesn't have any real world application. Everything can be changed except the account number, as we said. So so far, we haven't really been able to use a progress note. And I did this on purpose because I wanted to show to you that some of these test patients don't have usable uh, documents that you can go back into and play around with. So just keep that in mind. Not every one of them is going to work for your purposes. So let's go back to test. And I'm gonna use this one because this is my go-to usually when I do a demonstration. And let's go to progress note. And from here, you can see we have a live, unsaved, unsigned progress note. So from here, everything looks pretty realistic. You can go into any section you'd like. And everything's going to have real world capabilities. For example, let's go here. And let's add another chief complaint. And again, I'm doing everything the same way as I usually would in a live patient. And see, now we have this second chief complaint as well. And everything works the same. Even things like medications. Now notice that in this case, I can't access all of these. Some of these are gray, grayed out. The live ones are blue, so I can change those the same way I would with a real patient. Verify them, everything else. See? All the way down to the final screen. See? So hopefully this has been helpful. This wasn't meant to be a quick this was a, this was meant to be a quick overview. It wasn't meant to be very extensive, but just to show you that you also have this option to play with the test patient so that way you have less real world struggles and are able to see your patients more efficiently. So thanks for joining us for this short little presentation on the test patient. We'll see you next time.